Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 is officially over halfway complete, and with that said, now we're only just getting unveiled with updates that pass all the way up until 15.50 being the last, secrets and interworkings to do with the storyline, developments, and ultimately new characters or types of characters or teams appearing. No, I'm not just talking about the Seven, or Io, Imagined Order, the real one, goddamn Mystique, you can't be an Io guard, but now even Fox Clan that have had a large enforcement behind them, and speaking of enforcement, well it looks like the enforcers were involved in this part of the storyline. Too. So for that reason in today's video, considering there's a lot to cover that you guys won't know about to do with secrets in the storyline and how the season overall is progressing in comparison to our last season 5 in chapter 1, I figured we'd talk about it all and ultimately how this correlates to not only an ending season event like last season that directly led into this season season 5, but yes as you can see by the title, the Fortnite season 6 trailer in itself and believe it or not at the end of the video we're also going to be showing a Fortnite season 6 trailer, so of course if you want to understand all of that before any of your friends, I know you want to be the coolest kid in the playground, make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video. And speaking of being the coolest kid on the playground, make sure to hit that big red button to certify this, as 70% of you right now aren't subscribed watching, and for those non-subscribed people who are now hopefully turned to subscribe by hitting the big red button, I like to gift 5 subscribers every single day here on this channel. But hold on, before I do that, you guys need to do something for me, and that's enter code friendly machine inside the Fortnite item shop, if you could please. As an epic partner, greatly supports the channel and I believe I am one of like 10 YouTubers across the entire platform who literally proves that they give subscribers in every video. Also by letting me know down below in the comments you simply use the code, you could receive a heart on your own comment, really try it out like these guys from the previous video. So yeah, if you want to be gifted, perhaps even in the very next video, make sure of course you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your Epic Games ID down below, and who knows, you could be one of these lucky 5 selected in the very next video. Ok, so the most sense worthy start we can possibly make I guess is going over what more updates we're yet to see in chapter 2 season 5, how many and ultimately what they are. For those that don't know the 15.30 update being the next one as we're currently in the version of Fortnite 15.21, this is on the staging servers meaning it's pretty much complete now and ready to go live when Epic Games obviously release them in terms of an update day on a weekday. An example of the process of how an update is made is it goes onto the testing servers like you can see here I made an example for 15.10 and then it's put onto the staging servers once once all of that is completed. So with 15.30 or the next update containing a ton of things relating to the Valentine's Day event in terms of content, this should be releasing sometime next week at the start of February. As typically what happens with these updates, they're put onto the staging servers one week or toward the end of a week and then they actually release the very next week. Believe it or not, 15.40 the update after the next one we haven't yet seen is already being tested according to Mango right here, which he actually tweeted out about before 15.21 was released and stated in this that basically 15 15.50 will probably release the final update of Chapter 2 Season 5 around February 23rd with a 3 week wait for Season 6 March 16th, but it could change and obviously here's proof that all the updates are basically only going up to 15.50, so we're due to see 3 more updates as of the time I'm recording this video. As the number 15 obviously represents Chapter 2 Season 5 being Season 15 and as you can see 15.50 directly leads on to 16.00 being Season 16 or Chapter 2 Season 6. So with that said, this all makes sense now that we're starting to see developments or teases toward what's going to be going on with the development of Fortnite, ultimately the storyline and how it progresses, all makes sense of the changes that are yet to come into Chapter 2 Season 6 from the end of Season 5. And firstly, how Fortnite have been doing that, for those who've been living under a rock as of recently, this is all to do with the newly introduced team surrounding Drift that's been a character since Chapter 1 Season 5, you know, the Tier 1 character. But despite him, other members contained within what seems to be called Fox Clan. And anyways, how this all came about was from Fortnite, believe it or not, considering they never do this usually throughout an entire season, they changed their Fortnite Twitter logo to the logo of Fox Clan, so we know, yeah, this is serious. And shortly before doing this even, they revealed the next member of the Fortnite crew pack in February to be called V, this character which seemingly is also a part of Fox Clan based off her aesthetic. And upon all of this being changed, the logo, the banner even teasing V, initially anyways before she was revealed, to not only look like this, but have all the extras on screen right now come along with this skin 
even a selectable style. We, however, also got some worrying tweets from Fortnite that we didn't know where it would end. So you know how Agent Jonesy seemingly sends us these incoming transmissions for when we're going to see a new bounty hunter, like the one for Predator, where he goes on about the hunter becoming the hunted, referring to him being hunted by Predator but the table's turning. Well, instead of getting a voice recording, Fortnite obviously tweeted out in text form a ton of different sentences, what seemingly could make upon joined all up a transmission in itself. And despite these being the official tweets on screen right now, I'm going to put them in text format and read them out to you guys so you get a better understanding or hear all of it. Beginning scan, possible match found, drift, drift come in, do you read me? I know you don't know who I am, but the Fox Clan is in trouble, we need you. We always thought we were the trackers, but something is tracking us down, something old, something bad. They got everyone, I barely escaped, I'm, I'm the only one left. Whoever gave you the Fox Clan mask made you a target. If we don't work together, team up, they'll come for you next. They're closing in. I need to wipe my tracks, but I hope you got this transmission. If you did, I'll see you soon. I hope. Connection terminated. So despite us knowing we're going to be seeing the appearance of a brand new character, whether it is V, set to be a brand new character in itself with the February crew pack, actually recording and sending this transmission, I guess we're yet to know, but based off what was contained within it, context-wise, it seems very important to the development of this season. I mean, we not only have the seven mentioned vocally by the leader of Aya or Imagined Order, but that team in itself, Imagined Order, obviously that Agent Jonesy is working for is a large forefront of the season. And speaking of Aya or Imagined Order, the Aya guard, you know these annoying guys, right, that Mystique tried pretending she was one of at the start of the video? I have to ask, since the start of Drift appearing in Fortnite, ever since he did in Chapter 1 Season 5, do these look familiar? I'll give you guys a few seconds to comment down below what you think these guys look like from Chapter 1 in terms of a character. And if you guessed it right, well, yeah, the Enforcers. This was the secret skin of Chapter 1 Season 5 that wasn't revealed until it was unlocked called Codename Road Trip Skin. And all I'm saying is I miss these weekly loading screens showing the development of somewhat of a story. And speaking of the loading screens particularly, pertaining to this storyline development in itself, if you remember this loading screen of the Enforcers appearing out of a rift, this could have been perhaps one snapshot of the IO Guards or the Enforcers themselves entering our old Fortnite world from another dimension or from access in this world through the zero points and maybe just maybe this is what the fox clan member is referring to when they say something old considering well this would be considered old right now chapter one season five and everything that went down within it and as you can see drift is directly also involved in this loading screen so perhaps he was one of the targets or the primary target in itself not knowing at the time however being fox clan overall and for those that don't know what a snapshot of another character is which is what people believe the seven to be seven snapshots of the visitor it's based Basically, once a character enters the zero point, another snapshot in time or space is created of them, hence why Bunker Jonesy is stating he's one out of, you know, this many Jonesies. <laughs> and based off this information given by Bunker Jonesy, this makes sense for why Agent Jonesy in the trailer for Chapter 2 Season 5 states, the last thing we need is another snapshot of me inside the loop. So in conclusion, with the introduction of all these teams now at a forefront of what seems to be the Fortnite storyline, the seven mentioned vocally, Aya or Imagined Order's headquarters being shown or where Agent John Jones works. And now Fox Clan, I definitely think there's going to be some sort of amazing battle or cinematic between the appearance of all three of these teams with characters literally doing things in game like we saw for the last live event with all of the superheroes. But in Chapter 2 Season 5, and they're all trying to accomplish at the same time something with the Zero Point itself, whether it's to contain it, keep people inside the loop, whether it's to destabilize it and make it explode so we can escape the loop like the Seven actually tried making us do in chapter 1 season X and who knows considering this scene isn't talked about much from the chapter 2 season 5 trailer maybe something happens with the zero point being above surface as we know it to destabilize when this happens from chapter 1 season 9 and then it burns a giant hole in the ground maybe revealing the IO headquarters in a different dimension or at least the passage where you know that agent John Jones entered the Fortnite world from and whilst we're yet to see more updates past meaning eventual live event developments contained within the code in believe it or not in this update the version where in now v15.21 in the coding event files relating to kevin the cube and even the star wars event were added back here are the files in mention right here crack lighting cube spawn sounds cube island and galileo being the code name for the star wars event you know this one where we got to see an exclusive scene from the rise of skywalker early and based off the direction of season 5's theme being kind of a worlds collide 2.0 which obviously worlds collide was the theme of chapter 1 season 5 and us knowing this worlds collide theme is continued in chapter 2 season 5 based 
of named locations appear in, however changed or exact they might be from their original state in their original place of where they were on the Chapter 1 island but in Chapter 2. If we correlate this context or direct placement to where previous things happened, believe it or not Kevin the Cube spawned in not only on the outskirts of Paradise Palms but if we match that up directly on this map, it lands at the redacted bunker that we do not know the purpose for as of yet or what's inside. We've had our speculation about the Chaos Agent and then this storyline development kind of died or was not continued. And all I'm saying is what if Kevin the Cube is behind these doors, you know, set to make an appearance considering we've seen the butterfly event files added back and teased in the Galactus Live event where this butterfly shape appeared after Galactus disappeared? Or could it spawn in on the hill outside from the spawn sounds of the cube literally being added back, you know, from when this happened on the outskirts of Paradise Palms? And also to back this theory up even furthermore considering Donald Mustard teased that Kevin might be gone but might not be at the same time that means? The next season we're entering if they're following this theme of continued themes from each season's prior chapter, this then means that Kevin the Cube will be largely involved in Chapter 2 Season 6 as Chapter 1 Season 6 was called Darkness Rises and obviously was the first time in the trailer anyways we were unveiled or revealed to Kevin the Cube's floating island form. But anyways, with that scrambling your brains, all the context and all developments we're teased toward or have seen so far, I figured now I'd end off and play you guys this Season 6 trailer concept made by Toshio, who will be linked in the video description down below. So if you enjoyed this video or enjoyed the trailer, slap a like in it down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you're one of the first people in the community or out of your friends to get the latest scoop of what's going on in the world of Fortnite storyline wise or news wise. So hopefully you can have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching and without any further ado let's roll that trailer.